So you maybe you want to put in your video an effect that looks like those memes when someone is absolutely triggered. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alrighty, so right here I have the clip of me saying trigger just like I did in the little intro there. I went ahead and muted it j just for your sanity and my own so we don't have to keep hearing me say triggered over and over again as I look at this. But for the very first thing we're going to do right here is we're going to go into the effects library, just come down to effects and put an adjustment clip over the top of the clip you want to do. If you don't know how long necessarily it's going to be but you're starting this off, just go ahead and air on the uh, longer side. And uh, you know, you can always cut it down or whatever, it really is not that big a deal. This is exactly how long mine is select the adjustment clip here now uh what i would usually do here is you can just go ahead and click on the actual clip that you have and go ahead and zoom in usually that's what i would do is just go ahead and zoom in because when they do the triggered effect and zoom in as much as you want and kind of move the uh up and down to kind of get your face not quite centered but a little above or not your face whoever is getting triggered or whatever that way you can put the text just below your face and when you have the screen shake it works out so now that we have the adjustment clip just above the zoomed in clip that we have, go ahead and come up here and click on open effects here in the effects library. Then you want to go ahead and scroll almost all the way down to the bottom essentially. So not the very bottom section here, but the next one up, resolve effects transform, and you have camera shake. That's exactly what we want. Go ahead and click and drag it over and drop it on the adjustment clip. So you've seen it looked like it zoomed in a little bit and we'll go ahead and just look at you see how it is shaking but it's kind of slow you really want it to be faster and tighter so now come up to the right here under the inspector if it's not open make sure you click on it and open it up and then click on effects right here and the camera shake is already open now generally the ones which i'm going to want to do here is come down to ptr speed underneath shake level that'll make it shake faster so we'll go ahead and turn it up this is kind of a guess and check uh, we'll go ahead and go to point uh, 08 here and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this I'm gonna have to turn it up a little bit more even over up to one so double what it was at originally and just that right there is not bad if you want to make it so that it shakes more and faster you can turn up the pan and tilt amplitude like this then when it shakes it's even see it's an even larger shake and faster uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn these down though, but I don't think we want that. I think we want it tighter and faster, maybe even up more than that even right there. We'll 1.3 right there. Super fast. I like the way that is right there. So now that we have that adjustment clip shaking, you can get it and go up here into uh, still under open effects and go ahead and scroll up now. All right, and I'm going to show you where it is from the top just to make it easier. So this is the very, very top of the section. So go down, not in the top little section there, not under resolve effects but come down just one more section and there's color generator i go ahead and just take this and drop it right on the adjustment clip you see the entire thing turned white that's okay don't click on the dot here but go ahead and click on camera shake and we'll close that and then you see the two different effects you put on this adjustment clip go ahead and click on that and see it's under white now usually when you do this we usually want to go red but you know with red now it's solid red well, there is no, another thing down at the bottom here, the global blend. Go ahead and open that up and you can go ahead and drag it down. It's essentially like adjusting the, opac the opacity, which you can change opacity, opacity, however you want to pronounce it. So however red you want it for how triggered they are or whatever, we'll just go right there. That looks great. Now, you also need to have it say trigger just under their face. So go ahead and under the effects library up over here, go to titles and go ahead and add a text plus and go ahead and drop it on top. And this is a little bit later here. I'm going to show you a couple of different things that you can do in order to have it look slightly different or whatever. But right here, we got the text right there. And go ahead and up in the inspector over here after you have the text plus selected, click on title. We're going to go ahead and just type in this text spot here, triggered. So there's the text right there. Go ahead and pick your favorite font. I'll go ahead and cut this out, but I'll pick a good one that I like. Already, I decided to go with Open Sans Condensed. So that is that. Uh, and generally, for the color, it's white. But in the meme style, if you want to go with the meme style, they have an outline for it. So for the uh, for that, we're going to go ahead and go to over to shading. Now, white is where we want it. So that we go ahead and we got that already. But what we're, we're going to want to do is add the outline. Now, if you come down here under shading elements and come to number two, right there go ahead and check enable so now that we have that enabled right there come down here and it's already under uh an outline right here but we want the outline to be black so we'll go like that boom we select it black and it's super thin though it's super thin up under thickness right here for properties uh we're going to want to make it thicker 
so that you can see it better. And if we made it pretty thick there, and we're gonna go ahead and spread it out a little bit. It's starting to bleed together a little bit. If yours doesn't necessarily look exactly like this, under a blending composite here, appearance, go ahead and select this one right here, and you just go ahead and make it thicker, and it'll kind of put an outline around the edge of your text right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the text here. Because of when we put the outline on it, it made the, the, the outlines kind of blend together here. Come down to tracking, and actually if you pull this over, the letters will get further apart. You wanna get it to wherever it is you want it, however far. Uh, I like it about right there, I suppose. Now go over to settings, move it down, and it is in the middle here. But I think I actually want it a little bit bigger, so we're gonna, now that I see it, we're gonna come over to title right here under size, and we'll go ahead and drag it bigger, drag it bigger. Yeah, about right there, and I'm actually gonna move it up a little bit so it's not off the bottom of the screen. So right there, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how this looks. So right there you see you got the triggered shake, but the text is still. Now if you want it the other way, if you would like the text to be shaking with the screen, you can go ahead and drag the adjustment clip over the text, and you can leave the space here, it's not gonna cause a problem, or you could get rid of it, it's up to you. Now you see triggered and shaking. Perhaps maybe you want it to be, look absolutely perfect and you actually want the text here to be super white with the black outline. I'm gonna go ahead and move it down just so we can see a little bit better. Now what you can do here is, actually you could either not put it on or since it's already on, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the color generator on the effect for the screen shake on the adjustment clip. Now, actually we need that space under here because what I'm going to do is go to generator here and go to solid color and drop that over top of the video. Drag it to the right size and now it's obviously gonna be solid black, the generator up in the corner. Go ahead and click on it and you're gonna want it red just like before. Once again, it is solid red. Now, when you have, you have that selected, come over to settings and come down to the opacity. Opacity, opacity, I should probably Google how to pronounce that. Uh, it's not a hard word, but then go ahead and slide it over until it is the right amount of red to properly display how triggered somebody is. Now when you go ahead and look at it, the text and the video should shake, but the text does not have that red hue anymore. So if you want it to be that way, that is how you go ahead and do it. We'll unmute it one time so you can see exactly what it looks like. Triggered. So that right there is how you do the triggered effect here for your videos to kind of be funny or whatever here in DaVinci Resolve.